Hi guys, Levi and Lila, Levi Charles and Lila Rose. I feel like I haven't read a book to you in a long time. I don't know. I know it hasn't been for a few days, but this book came in from the library. I ordered this book. I reserved it. I said, ooh, this looks like something Levi and Lila might be interested in. <coughs> and... The library didn't have it at the branch we go to in our town, so they ordered it from another branch. And somebody else was reading it, so I had to wait for my turn, right? You have to be patient and wait for your turn at the library. Because remember, you're just borrowing it. You're going to use it for a little while and then return it so somebody else can enjoy it. This book is called Whose Poop Is That? Remember, I read another book about poop because we saw some different poop in our yard and I know you've seen some in your yard. It's kind of a little bit of a gross conversation, but we learn a lot from it, right? And when we learn from books and when they tell us real information and true facts, it's called nonfiction. And that's what this book is, nonfiction. And there's our barcode from the library. So it is called Whose Poop Is That? Written by Darren Lund and illustrated by Kelsey Oseed. The author is the one who writes the book and the illustrator draws the pictures. Yucky, do you think that would be a fun job for this book to draw the pictures of poop? Ooh, not for Graham, I would not like that. I might like to draw pictures of flowers or butterflies or something like that, but I don't know about poop. But anyway, I guess a good illustrator is happy to draw a picture of anything. So let's see what happens in this book. Look at that. We have some prints. Whose poop is that? It has bits of bone and a tuft of fur in it. Oh my goodness, this is a little bit disgusting. I don't know if Graham can make through A red foxes. Oh, there it is. A red fox eats small mammals and birds. It crunches their bones and swallows their fur or feathers. I guess that's why this poop has little bones and feathers. Whose poop is that? It is a big pile with twigs and stems in it. An African elephant's. Wow, do you think we're ever gonna see an elephant in our yard? Definitely not. But maybe if you go to the zoo or to Africa, another country, maybe you'll see an elephant. An African elephant eats a lot of plants each day. Its poop can be one foot high. All right, that's pretty gross. Sorry to say. Whose poop is that? Do, 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 do. Whose footprints leads to that poop? It has a bunch of splinters in it. A panda's. A panda eats mostly bamboo. A panda has to spend most of its day eating in order to get enough energy. Is that a poop? It is a bundle of fur and bones. That is not a poop. I don't know, what is the owl saying? It is an owl pellet. After an owl eats an animal, it vomits up the bones and any feathers or fur. The rest of the food is digested and ends up as poop. Graham, why'd you get this book? Ooh, do you know what vomit is? It's when you throw up. Did you ever throw up? You get a tummy ache and something doesn't feel right and you go Bleh, into the toilet. Ugh. All right, this book is really intense. Whose poop is that? It is full of old leaves. 
a Galapagos tortoises. Oh, I never even heard of that. I've heard of a tortoise or a turtle, but not that kind. Food needs at least one week to pass through a Galapagos tortoise. A Galapagos tortoise sometimes holds its poop for up to one month. I, I don't even know if I have a comment for that. Do you usually poop every day? You try to, right? To hold it for a month? <gasps> that would be bad. That'd be bad for a human, right? A person like you and me. But I guess for this turtle, it's okay. It's normal. Splat! Whose poop is that? It dropped from the sky. Ooh, that gives us a big hint. And it's kind of white. Yucky, yuck, yuck. Uh, gulls. Ooh, did you see seagulls on your vacation at the beach? Birds do not need to land to poop. Their poop is very watery. Oh. Birds sometimes poop on your car. Whose poop is that? It is as hard as a rock. An extinct ground sloths. Fossil poop is hard to find. Now that might be cool to find. You can learn a lot from poop. You just have to look. They're in a museum. And that is some facts about animal poop that if you checked out this book, you could learn. I have to say, we learned a lot about poop, right? But it wasn't necessarily an enjoyable read for Graham. I don't know what you thought of it. Ask, ask if you didn't like it at all, ask mom, tell mommy to tell Graham, or you could tell Graham, get rid of this one. Yeah. But I'm going to return this book to the library so someone else can learn some true facts about poop. All right? Things we got to talk about, right? Might not be glamorous or cute or exciting, but it's something we can learn about. Store away. When we're out in the woods hiking or walking in the yard and we see something, we go, oh, I know what kind of poop that is. All right. See you guys later.